Welcome back. This morning, I have some startling statistics for you. Did you know 7.7 .7 million Americans suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder? And according to the Department of Veterans Affairs, 31% of Vietnam veterans and 20% of veterans from the Iraqi war suffer from it as well. But despite those numbers, the FDA has not approved a new drug to treat PTSD in 18 years. That's why Dr. Sue Sicily fought for seven years to get the first ever federally approved study to treat PTSD using marijuana complete in hopes that it will one day help. I spent two years trying to rehab and trying to get back to work. Ross Reed protected people his entire life as a Marine and as a police officer until his career ended in 2008 while involved in a freeway traffic stop as an Arizona DPS trooper. It nearly hit me ended up rolling into oncoming traffic. Somewhere in that process, I just tore my knee up pretty bad. But 26 knee and 17 back surgeries took a toll on him, both physically and psychologically. And after uh, different surgeries, just a lot of pain issues and a lot of time to think about the things that had happened. Leading to post-traumatic stress disorder. 75 micrograms per hour of fentanyl on a patch. And they had me on up to uh, eight 15 milligram oxycodone per day. And I just, I really couldn't function. Until he met Dr. Sue Sicily, internal medicine MD and president of Scottsdale Research Institute. Contrary to her schooling, she was granted the first ever federally approved study to treat PTSD using marijuana. I was really skeptical that cannabis was a medicine. Why does her name sound familiar? In 2014, she was fired from the University of Arizona right after being awarded this PTSD marijuana research project. It was disappointing from on a lot of levels because remember I was a alumni of that medical school and I was on faculty there in excellent standing for seven years. Although we don't know why she was fired, Cicely says that was only one of many roadblocks she faced in trying to get this study done. Seven years of obstructions at all levels of the government, not just the federal government, which is the most obvious, um, but we had issues here in the state. So seven years after being granted this project, Dr. Sisley was finally able to conduct the study. For three years, 76 veterans were given four different marijuana strains to smoke in this triple-blind, randomized control trial. We hope that we can uncover a new treatment for PTSD because the PTSD community, they're desperately searching for, for relief. Ross was one of the patients. The only experience with marijuana or any other kind of uh, drugs that I had had other than prescription were on the street arresting people for it. So it was very, very skeptical. But about halfway through the study, he was no longer using opioids. That's when it, it really kind of hit me that, you know, this is probably the right, right thing for me. When you hear that Ross was at one point on 300 pills a month uh, treating PTSD, and due to your research and the study that he has now weaned himself off, how does that make you feel? Well, that's the most gratifying. That makes all of this, you know, the trials and tribulations we've been through, it makes it all worth it. Well, although the study is complete, the analysis is not. Dr. Sisley just locked that data and will be analyzing all that info and could submit the findings within the next few months to hopefully be published toward the end of the year. Now, although we don't have the results of this study, there were some great results from many of the veterans who took part in this study, very similar to what Ross uh, Reed experienced. The part that really got me was at the end of the study, Ross Reed's wife told him, I finally got my husband back. Oh, wow, that that's is incredible. amazing. And to think he was in all those drugs, yeah. 300 pills a month, that's crazy. He, he says he just couldn't cope. There were some days where, you know, he just had a blank stare, and uh, but that was to treat all the pain that he had. Do 26 knee hope? surgeries, that'll do that to you. Yeah. Gosh. New hope. Can't even sure. imagine. Thanks, Avi. Look forward to those uh, results.